welcome. This is Crammy Queen. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we're having lots of fun with words and numbers. Numerology to be precise. We have been exploring the number seven, the word seven, and uh, its constructs. And we are, of course, looking at um, words as well, like earth and heart, which consist of five letters. Five letters, meaning we have also been exploring number seven with Mother Eve in mind. We believe that five letters is a way of Eve's presence being made felt. Uh, um, it's been um, there for us to pay attention. Not only that it is in the letter E, for instance, but it's also of that makeup of five letters, which is so profound in the heart, the word heart. Okay, and when we do um, the numerical value for the word earth, of course, um, there is the um, letter R. The letter R is denoting um, beginning. And I find that very, um, very symbolical and very important that we pay attention to that because this is where nine is the beginning. Nine is, um, in fact, nine also showed up in what we think it was in the, the number one or oh, the first. I was trying to remember that when we do, like it is said that God created the heavens and on the first day, so, <coughs> the first the first equals nine so this is in essence um giving us more meaning or more depth to the importance and significance of r being in the middle of the earth so when we see the letter r for instance we are talking numbers let's look at nine here let's look at nine here that's what it's about. So, and when we also look at the letter A, although we have been talking about it's got um, three strokes, that is in the heart, the middle of the heart, which has three strokes. I didn't count how many strokes in R, I'm believing it's three as well. Um, it's, it's actually three. So this is R1, well, this would be one, two. Of course, this is two strokes, okay? And um, we have three, so the A is three. So two plus three, wow. So in the middle of the heart is Mother Eve. The heart meaning, of course, we have looked at how the movement, we are saying it's the process of the marriage of acknowledgement and consciousness of heart and earth working harmoniously as one is five, is Mother Eve. That is what we see. This is when it is said, and the Spirit of God moved, so that word moved, which equals five, just to ensure that I am. So let's look at moved. So this is four, five, four, six, four. There we are, nine and 10, 19, 23. So it's in direct correlation with what's in the middle. The combination of heart and earth is 23. So in the middle, that's the... And that's the, um, the, the center of the heart and the center of the earth. So we see at the center of the um, earth is two. Two is what we plant. Now, I have been um, talking about um, what it's like planting because I have done gardening and I do understand to um, a great extent. This is where we plant two seeds. This is where you plant two seeds in the beginning, which is our hair. You plant two seeds. 
Of course, you would have a seed here. Perhaps this is the two seeds that we are meant to be paying attention to. So if you were planting corn, you would have two seeds here. We see how two, this would also perhaps depict Adam and Eve, or Sarah and Abraham, or the earth, the green, and the blue. So this is really just showing how the two marries because one does one does not exist without the other right here and a wonderful thing that I um, can see is happening here which reminds me of um, the word we did and there was 10 but of course it's showing the numerical value for a is 1 so if we were to have one here then we can see there is an, uh, another thing that is transpiring beautifully here in that the, with the earth and the heart is 10. 9 plus 1 would be 10. There we would be in heaven. You're either in heaven or you're either in hell. And it's no wonder it is said that it is from the from the heart from the heart that there is all manner of ill or whatever it is but when we're talking of the heart we're to also talking about earth whichever one of those we are choosing to operate from so when we are not really operating in accordance with um, the heart in a healthy way here we're probably operating at um, as one hair, hey, we are not sinking things nicely together to get that 10 balance, that balance that is necessary for our growth right here. So we see, of course, nine is beginning and we had one. When we do the numerical value for the word one, that is seven. And if we were to add seven, just adding 7 and, and 9 together, that would be 16. 6 and 1 would be 7. We would still have 7 in the middle here. We can do so much here and find all different sorts, all different numerical values showing up here. If we were to do the numerical value for the word 9, which I have got on there, it would be 6. 6 and 1 would be 7. Isn't that amazing? I think I just did the numerical value for hair. This is this is interesting now. I love I love this. If we did the numerical value for one hair, that would equal seven. Seven, and if we added seven and and um, seven to nine, seven and nine would be sixteen. So one plus six would be seven. So we would have seven between these two. That would give us the total. If we were to switch and do the numerical value, the word value for 9, which equals 6, 6. If we did 6, 6 plus 1 would be 7. So we have had 10 hair. We've also had 7 hair. And when we do um, the numerical value, of course, nine and yes, nine and one with the, the letters, that's the 10. So we see basically we there there is a sense of perfection because we did the word perfect. The word perfect is seven. I believe it's seven. P-E-R-F-E-C-T. Okay, so this is two. Let's do this somewhere. Okay, let's do this here. So it's two, three. Yeah, you can see this. Five, six, nine, five, seven. So um, this is 10 and 15. That's 25 and 5, 30, 37. Ah, 37. So 37 is 10. This is 
This is what we are talking about. I thought it was 7, but it's 37. So we see how 10, when we would have 9 here and 1 here. So this is perfect. This is the learning we are meant to be doing in numerology to help in us understand the depth and meaning of the numbers and their functions in our being. This is where we get 10 from. And of course we can see with the other, um, with, with um, H being here, and H being here, it's as though that they were, uh, I'm seeing like a spiral cycle. I'm not sure I can do this now, but there's an image that comes to mind. Uh, an image comes to mind. So it's, um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to, but it, it does come to mind. So it's really H E A R T, and um, well, it's it's. Let's do it the way it came to mind. Let's do it the way H E A R T and the other one is H E A R T. Okay, so I've got it. Okay, so this is what came to mind. I, lo I love, um, well, is it? Okay, so it's that, I'm not quite sure if I've got this the other way. Um, perhaps it doesn't make much difference, yes. Okay, but it really, I saw it like a fan that you could spin. And of course, everything is, and so the H, we see the H, the two H's are here, but in the middle is the heart, here. Yes, that, that, that's really, so we have the air. Now, I can see what I have not done. Okay, it's E, E. Okay. E A Ah. Perhaps it's not going to work. It's E A R T. Okay, it's not but it, it's worth trying because okay, this is how it came. H E Okay. Oh, I'm still doing the same thing. Okay. E A R T H. Okay. So, um, but basically, I saw a sort of um, spin. This uh, and with the H and the T coming together. So basically, I haven't done however it was, but it was just a flash, and I like to go along with something when it comes. Okay, but we are talking about the heart and the and the earth being in sync. Now, I may um, do one more presentation on this. There is so much more, um, lots more, on the alpha, on the omega, because, um, in fact, we were talking about the two and planting. I would like to actually um, finish on that, because, um, yes, we could still um, explore um, the two, which we began with.
with seven. Seven, um, of course, is 20. I have covered that, but the two that I'm talking about and planting, planting seeds when I mentioned those two um, seeds here. So um, two also equals, which we've had from seven, also equals um, 13. 13 is, let's do the numerical value, so... Oh, we've got that nose off, okay? So, so two is six, five, two. That's 11, 12, 13. So I have done a lot on 13 because 13 is that energy and it's as if there's the two aspects to that energy. It's somewhat, it operates a little bit, well, it reminds me of 10, but it's like where the zero has broken, and it's as if someone has manipulated the zero. That's what happens here, um, but it's that too. So it comes here. It's when it has been manipulated, that's where the bonding, I have covered this, that's where it happens. Um, and we see that two and seven has that kind of re relationship because when we add one and three together, that gives us four. Okay. Um, there was something else that I really wanted to cover on... Um, on the earth, on the earth, and in the heart. There is so much more. Okay, well, let's just quickly do um, the alpha and the omega. I may have to touch on that again, um, but it equals, it does, I, I found it. I was talking about the number 20, of course. It's the number 20. So I have done numerical values from numbers or word numbers from one to 20. And uh, I found that that 20 actually equals 8. Now, that's the interesting thing about doing the 2. That's, that's what reminds, that's what I was trying to remember. So we would do, we have been doing 2, which is um, 6, 5, 2, and this equals 13. 13 is 4. 13 equals 4. Yet, of course, because that's 2. The numerical value for 20 is 2. But when we do 20, 20 is 7, 2, 5, 5, 5, 2. I love the three fives. 15 and 9, that is um, 15, that's 24. 25, 26, that's correct, 26, 2 plus 6 is 8. So this is where 2 now, going back to the color blue and green, it's like a depiction or addition, of course, 1 plus 3 is 4, and it's telling us as if we have the 2 this is what we do with 20, because 20 also equals S-O-U-T-H, because I'm talking about planting seeds here too. Eight, I like the eight coming here, which is showing us here. Two, three, six, one, 10, 20. So this is 20. 20 is actually eight. 20 is actually 2 when we do the single numerical value, but it's actually 8, 8 here. But this 8 is that symbol of blue and green. When we have the 2, 4s, 8, it's that numerical value. This is long division from what I remember. But if we were taught those things, from a young age, we would get them. We would. But it's as if there had been an intelligence 
to do this where that would um, facilitate laziness or can't be bothered or ask me later, that kind of attitude, so we would not discover this. But I am believing that there are um, people operating on those systems. And of course, when we discover this, because by this tool now, we are able to see, we are able to understand and appreciate the Last Supper. We can appreciate that. We see a depiction of that story here. We see a depiction of knowing what um, the many aspect of what had taken place when Christ was recruiting his disciples by twos or Noah um, going into the act by um, taking the animals into the act by two, twos, but there was also seven. This is what I am trying to say. There was also the part where he was taking them by seven. This is what we were told. But when we do the numerical value for the word seven, it equals two. So we are not to get confused with all of these. Um, when we get do the numerical value for seven, which is 20, which also is south, this is like seven is like saying this is where it, it it gets planted and it also reminds me of in the scriptures I may touch on this again but it's as I remember I like to go with it there's the word that seemed like a curse word in the south the heathen I hope I have spelled this right the heathen are sunk down in the pits that they have made. That is one of the Psalms. I've, I've, I've memorized that one. The hidden are sung down. And there's another part in the Psalms where it says, I will give you the hidden as a heritage, as an heritage. I remember it's not as a heritage, it's as an, a n, which is six. Okay, I wouldn't do the numerical value for heritage right now, but let's do hidden. This is five. And this is where Mother Eve is also being transpired in this as well. But of course we know it's in a it we know we can have the liberty to examine this in a new light. That's what it's about. One, five, eight. Five, this is ten, twenty, and 26 and 8 would be um, 34. So 34, in essence, this is what it is saying. The hidden are sunk down in the pit that they have made. They is 10, T-H-E-Y. This is saying where something is pure, it is just like we have calculated, there is 10. And so they have made, meaning they, in fact, they have made. Have is nine, made is five. So there is the beginning and the end. They, seven, five, eight. Um, I may, it may be wrong, but let's see. This is um, 22. This is 12. 12 is 3 and 1. Okay, so that's 10 and 12 is 22. 22 is 4. Right. Okay, so it's, um, so there is 4, meaning, uh, okay, um, it's not 10, but it is that 4. They have made. They is, they, they well, have made, meaning they, it's nine, we are talking about nine, um, or beginning and end here again. They have sat down in that pit. They have, so basically, this has uh, like a negative connotation when we read it, but when we do the numerical value, we can understand what has happened here. It's a planting, a sort of planting, a sort of taking um, stock 
or a sort of, um, as I say, it's that seven. We could even see these as sevens. It's like that fan. This is seven, and this is seven, and this is seven. The sevens. The sevens are going around like this. That's movement they have made. Okay. Um, so this is just to give an insight. And when we look at it, and um, in essence to know that, um, then it is said, I will give you the hidden. So if it is such a bad thing, why God is giving it to somebody else? I don't know. The, those things really are the things that we need to be uh, making sense of. So I'm going to wrap this up with the um, Alpha, A-L-P-H-A. In fact, I think I'll do another presentation for Alpha and Omega because sometimes it, it just takes. So I'll do another presentation on Alpha and Omega because we are running into 26 minutes here just to have this kind of um, beginning and end. <laughs> of course, but we see what happened in the heart of the matter. So let's just wrap it up back to the heart so we get to understand H-E-A-R-T. So we are looking at heart and earth, E-A-R-T-H. So basically, we have seen that to be 10 when they're two married together. So it's, it's 10. Okay. And of course, we have seen how it has come about here in the H. This is um, blue. This is green. This is blue. This is green. So when we go to the high chambers, we are able to see the same thing no matter where we are in this place. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it fun and um, at least entertaining. We are looking at things from a new way, a new perspective. So if you enjoy this, please share, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Namaste. And spill over with love. Remember, we are planting new seeds. <laughs>